Well, again, uh, we mentioned some time ago that we hoped to interview some people who have come into our community along the Lee Valley and also here, of course, in McCroom Town and have settled here from other countries and other places. Now, this evening I have with me Barbara Urbanska, who has come to us from Poland and has settled in our community here in McCroom for a number of years. Barbara, you're very welcome indeed. Thank you very much. To local television. Thank you. And you're very welcome to McCroom and to the Lee Valley. Thank you again. A bit belated probably because you're here a number of years at this stage. Yeah, it is. There will be five years in January next year, so... Yes. That's, that's the time when I came to Ireland five years ago. Five years ago. And it must have been a bit of an earth-shaking decision to leave home and come to Ireland. It was actually, it was a hard decision, I have to say, because like every young people, we try to build our country stronger and better. That's what we try, especially when we educated there. And I think that the moment there is lots of Irish people, uh, which when they staying in, in front of decision, what to do after school, what to do after university. I tried to work in Poland, and I was working there three and a half years after my uh, university. But unfortunately, I couldn't get my independent. And whatever I could see, I could see only uh, worst, I'm afraid. So uh, I decided that I will try uh, find my happiness and my independence in some another country. Yes. And uh, it was happened like that, that my friend, she came first to Ireland and she said to me, if I want, she can give me accommodation for a while and I can try uh, here in Ireland in Macroom. Yes. So I did decide. I have to say my family wasn't happy with it. Okay. Because they wanted to keep me with them, especially them only one daughter. Yes, so, so tell me about your family a little bit. Uh, uh, I have three brothers, yes. uh, and my mom and my dad, they are pleased God and still in a good health. Yes. So uh, they weren't happy, like I said, because they, they always, the mothers especially, they think that the daughters, they should be closer and give the hands and help with everything. But anyway, they didn't say no. They said to me, that's your decision, you are independent woman. Now, so. now give me a sense of where you lived in Poland. Uh, where you were in I live in town, which one is 40,000 people living in. Okay. We call that small town. Yes. Because we have the more more bigger cities than in Ireland. Yes. Uh, that was actually a little bit shock when I came to Macroom first, because I heard there is a small town. Yes. My imagination of the small town is a little different than when I when I came and I saw it. Uh, for me, the small town there is more more buildings anyway, yes. and uh, more than more streets, more more traffic, if it's possible actually. Yes. <laughs> Macron, it is lots of traffic, I have to say. Yes. And that uh, it was a little different when I came in. You know, for yes. me it was like that the really small town, if I could say, like, when I have comparison to to the Polish towns. Okay, so let's stay with that Polish town now for mm -hmm. the moment. You you grew up then in that Polish town, went yes. to school there, and did you have to leave the town to go to university? Yes, I did. Where, uh, where was that? Was uh, it in Warsaw? Uh, no, no, no. I was, uh, I'm living... Uh, I was living in Poland in a town which runs between Katowice and Kraków, so there are two metropolis, like you could say metropolis for for these towns, and there is no university in my town. I was going to uh, Częstochowa, uh, yes. to there is town which one is well, well known from the Black Madonna. Yes. It's very important place for the Catholics. Yes. And I was finished there, uh, technical univer university there, and I got the master degree there. Yes. Very it's uh, more or less 200 kilometers of my town. Yes. I was living there, I was accommodated, and, and I was working during my study. Okay. I'll tell you what, I'm going to um, bring you back to talk about Poland again, because, of course, your parents and your grandparents would have lived under Soviet control in Poland, isn't that right? Yeah, kind of, So yeah. that would be very interesting to talk to you about that another time. And uh, uh, so today and now we'll really focus on you getting ready to come away to Ireland, yeah. how your family felt about it. And what was it like that day when you came to the airport? Oh, I tell you, my mom, she wasn't able to go with me to the airport because mm. the feelings which she, she had the, the few days before, uh, before I left Poland, uh, she was like still, 
are you sure what you're doing? Uh, maybe you should, uh, maybe you should stay and try again. But I, I left, uh, I left the uh, door open to Poland because, just like I said, I was working there, and I took uh, uh, annual leave for going to Ireland. I yes. didn't say, I didn't say that I definitely not come back to Poland. But I spoke with my boss also, and he he said like. Your decision. You are very welcome to back to work whenever you decide it. So, what did you work at? I was working as health, health and safety officer. Yes. Uh, we were consultant to the other companies in the different kind of industry in Poland. So, I see. it's very responsibility, very, very responsibility job. But unfortunately, not pay enough. Yes. So that's why I couldn't, uh, I couldn't exist as the independent person. I couldn't rent the house or buy the flat, anything like that. Uh, so I said, I am in the age when I need my independent much more. So that was really decisions which one, which one I make it. And I, when I came into Ireland, I didn't think I will earn money and I will take and I'll be back home. Because some people they do, they think like that. But my thinking was, I have to find myself. Yes. And whenever uh, whenever you're leaving, that's what I'm thinking, you can find your home there. Yes. Uh, so I, I went and I said, I will see. I'm not closing for anything. I'm just open for the world and whatever it's happened to me. Yes. So I say back to my mom, she was very, very upset. Yes. She wasn't able to go to the airport. We spoke uh, by an hour, I think, on the airport when I was waiting for the plane by phone still, and she was very upset. My mom especially. My brothers, you know, the boys, they're always they're hiding their feelings much more than the women do. Yeah. Uh, and they were like, okay, fine, you're going. Everything will be fine. But you could see them, that they were upset themselves as well. Yes, were, you, were you upset and sad at that time? I was, you know, I was uh, upset, but I was disappointed too. I was disappointed too that uh, I can't find anything good, like I couldn't at the moment, like when it was happened, that I couldn't find a better job which one could keep me in Poland. Yes. And especially uh, when you really try hard. Yes. And after you're disappointed. And you, I was a little disappointed, but in the other way, I was very um, interesting. What will happen to me mm -hmm. in Ireland, in the other country? Like, will I manage? You know, it was, um, I try myself and I try uh, my English, which one wasn't the best, still isn't the best, but I try my, my best all the time. Yes. So I was interesting, will I manage, you know? Mm -hmm. And I think it's made me much stronger now. Yes. So 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 that was a sad day for you. Did you fly directly then into I Cork? Did, maybe? Yeah. Into I did. I uh, did. Airport from my town, it's uh, maybe distance like from Macron to Cork. Yes. And the same distance is from Cork to Macron, ah, so it's not good. the long journey really. Yes. Uh, but in the f uh, in the plane, I do. You you have you have time to think, especially when you fly by yourself. Yes. You just think. Yes. And there's the you ca you can't run anywhere from your from your mind. So what did you think? Uh, the first I was like, oh my God, what I'm doing? There is happened real. That's the real life now and i be by myself because there is no one living here from my family mm -hmm. and that only one friend which one i which one i knew at the time so it was a little scary yes it was a little scary but uh, but the other way that's what i say i'm open for what has happened yes. and that's what i say i have always placed to back my mom she's waiting for me my my dad my brothers my lovely niece so i said I have place to come back. I have someone who is waiting for me in Macroom and she knows that I'm coming and they'll be waiting for me on the airport. So I'll be fine. Yes. And my first steps on the airport and straight, oh my God, they all speak English. <laughs> w will I understand them? Really? <laughs> that's, oh, was that's it your terrible. first time in an English speaking country? Uh, no, I was on the holidays in Greece. Oh, right. So kind of, but it was, you know, when you were on holidays. Of with the holiday makers uh, in no, Greece, of course. No, yes. it was, but uh, when you are with the group, you're yes. not really using. Yes. So when I come came and I was like, oh my God, they speak English. There is everything in English. Oh, Barbara, think, think English, English. You know the words, you know the words you manage. Yes. <laughs> and when I was waiting for my friends on the airport because they were a little late, I was like, oh my God, they forget about me. 
they don't know they am coming. So the, I took the phone and straight you thinking you have such amount of money for a living, and you thinking how much it cost me that that talking with them now at the moment because you know the the roaming and stuff yes. like that in Poland is very expensive actually. Yeah. And there's, uh, but they came. They say, "Don't be worried. We'll be there in five minutes. Then we we are a little delayed, so that's fine." They came to me, and I was like, "Oh my God! Someone waiting for me. That's the point." So you yes. felt like, "Thanks God." Yes. And after when we arrived to Macrum, it was dark. So, but the first my my first feeling, it was he's driving on the road on the wrong side of the road. Yes. I was like, oh my God, there will be crash in a minute. <laughs> like, yeah. No, but it wasn't, of course. But yet you have the feeling, especially when you are a driver yourself. Yes. So that that was big change for me as well. Yes. But after when when we woke up, it was raining, so the island will welcome me. What time we, of year was it? It was uh, January. Yes. It was January. Very cold. Well, not as cold as Poland. Not in as cold. Uh, no. But different cold. You know, we yes. we have different cold. The different kind of feel exactly yes you can feel it but not as much as in Ireland yes yes it gets right into it is, it, doesn't it, is it? it is <laughs> yeah so, so you arrived in Macroom then and you stayed with your friend in yes Macroom. I stayed in my friend with Macroom on the uh, on the sleeving uh, yes. so the beautiful view from there yes. beautiful house we were renting from uh, from uh, Dan O'Sullivan from the Drum King Construction. Yes, how many of you together? Uh, we were living there at this beautiful house, five bedrooms, one, two, three, four, five, five of us. Five of living. you? Yeah, Very good. Uh, five of us. So all, living. and all Polish? All Polish, yes. Yeah. So you spoke Polish then and you were uh, glad exactly, to speak Polish. Exactly, exactly. But, yes. but you know, but uh, mm, it was something what was pushing me to Ireland as well, learn English. Yes. Because when you have to use it, you're learning. You, you, people teach you when they speak, you know, yes. so you have to listen. Yes. And uh, I did came to Ireland and the first day I went uh, on to, <coughs> to the Cork for my PPS number with yes. my friend. So it was the first shock. You have to speak English there. <laughs> and I tried and I was very happy and proud of myself because people, they did understand me. Good. And you know what is the best, what I found generally in Ireland oh, with the English. Irish people? That when I came in and when I try speak English, even if my grammar still isn't the best, people they are happy that you try it. Yes. And they try understand you. Yes. And even if you are not correct in one way, they will try push put you on the right uh, right uh, direction. Yes. And they will show you that they do understand. But maybe you should say some in different sentence. Yes. And that's what I found brilliant. Yes. And I have to say, first day when we were walking from uh, Macron, from the Slivin, uh, up through the town to the bus station. People, they say to me, hello, hello, how are you? And I was like, oh my God, someone is living here who is very similar to me. They make mistakes, that they, they don't know me. Yes. And I love it. Yes. And I did love that one. And I always say that what was for me the bi biggest, nicest shock, like from the yes. people, people, they talk to each other on the streets yes. and they smile to each other, even if they don't know you. Yes. They can say hello, they can ask you how is your day, uh, that's absolutely brilliant. Very good. So now, you picked, you got up then your PPS number, did mm -hmm. it take uh, very long for you to, did you go and look for work quickly uh, enough then? Uh, straight away. Yes, and straight how, away. how was your... And, uh, when I came, uh, during the five days I had three jobs. During the first five days? Five, yeah. I found three different jobs. I got three different offers. What so kind of I jobs were they, Mary? Uh, the first, it was in the Abbey Hotel in Ballyvorney, yes. and that was my decision. Yes. Uh, I got the job in Lidl in yes. Macroom, and I got the job in Ballincolling in Downstairs. It was in Downstairs uh, at the time in Macroom. Yes. yes. So I decided I will go to work between the people to Ballyvorney. Yes. Uh, to Michael, my, uh, Michael Credon's place. Yes. And I have to say, it was the best two months. I was working a little over two months after I got my job in the Castle Hotel. Yes. 
And at the moment I'm in Grumbles. Yes. So I'm like traveler from place <laughs> yes. to place. <laughs> but I, I think I, I settled, I think, in Grumbles. There is uh, over three years when I'm there. So I think that, that that's the space. Excellent. Now, you, you did come from a university uh, education. Yeah. And you did work in a different area altogether. I did, yeah. Did you look for work in that area at all since I you did, came? I did. But, uh, you know, when you don't have experience, uh, the Irish experience, yes. so it's kind of difficult to to try f uh, to to uh, get the job in the subject especially in the field which one I am the specialist yes so the but I I hope that after maybe two three years what unfortunately it's happened at the moment we try get uh, better and better yes in all Europe so I hope that I will get a chance to try yes, back to my my my, edu my educated, uh, you know, qualification. Stuff, yeah, qualification. Yes, yes. So now, so here you are now, and you've arrived in McCroom, and you've been offered three jobs already, yeah. <laughs> and you've uh, been dipping in and out of yeah. them a bit, and then you're settling into the community in McCroom, yeah. and you feel very welcome by the people you say on the streets oh, and that so was forth. Fantastic, yeah. And then I presume you got out at night to socialize a bit. I in the did, I did, uh, with my friends, especially they, I was, uh, I was especially going out with my friends from the Castle Hotel. Yes. Uh, that's the young crowd there, so the, there are great workers, and they like, uh, they like uh, going out together as well, and I always feel the part of the group, you know. Yes. I wasn't like outsider. Yes. Only they, they were like, Barbara, come on, we're going, you're going with us, and there is no... No, say no. Yeah. Like, uh, did you, know? you ever at any stage come across um, any resentment or hostility about coming to Ireland? Not and really. I no. have to say I'm a lucky person. Uh, I am very lucky with the people. Yes. And it was the same in Poland, like in Ireland, maybe because I'm very optimistic, you know, so yes. generally. So, but no, it maybe it was happened why, once or twice when you heard the comments, but it wasn't... Uh, uh, especially to you, like to saying to yes. you, oh, come on, Barbara, you took job of my daughter or something like that. Yes. No, you you could hear it, but it wasn't. Uh, and is this the experience of your your Polish friends now who live in McCroom and in the Lee Valley? Um, is this their experience that generally speaking there isn't there is no hostility or? Uh, generally, no. No one, no one, no one from from my friends never say to me that they were uh, attacked by the yeah. by the wor words attacked like. Yes, uh, yes. Uh, no. No, but no you, insults. No, or no, not exactly. But uh, they say that they can feel. They can feel at the moment, especially last year. Yes. Last year, when the things they were worse in the economy, yes. so you you could feel that the people they look at you like, mm, okay, so someone has to lose the job, and who it will be? Yes. Like you know that way. Yes, but and of course the reality then being, I suppose, that Irish employers would say that they, that that Irish people aren't necessarily interested in taking the jobs. It could be happening as well. I yes. heard I heard that words from the employers as well. Yes. You know that's uh, so. I always say it doesn't matter what nationality you are. You have to just do your job the best how you can. Yes. And you 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 the people they can see you how worth you are or you aren't. Okay. I know there is very hard for pe uh, time for people with the jobs, yes. and we all. We all came f with the same. We came from Poland because we didn't have jobs in, in there. And now the Irish young people, they are going to Australia, they are going to Canada, they are going yes. in a, many different places in the world because they are in the same position which one we were a few years ago. Yes, exactly. And we still are. Yes. Now, um, eventually, of course, you found romance in McCroom. Oh, and I you did. Found I love found in love in my life. Yes, indeed. <laughs> That's what I call Pat. Yeah, that's yes. love of my life. And, of course, we're talking here about Pat Melia, who is a member of McCroom Urban Council. This. And uh, becoming a, a, an increasingly prominent McCrompian <laughs> <laughs> as the years grow, as the years roll along. Mm. So you and you have a little a little boy. Yes, we have a little boy, Conrad. Yes. He's little over two years yes. and he's our our proud and we love him to bits. Yes. And uh, please God we stay good family all together. So Yeah, that's, that's what excellent. We hope, yeah. yeah. And that that was the mm, that was the decision as well, you know, to think about uh, going out with the Irishman. Yes. 
because you always think the culture is different and maybe maybe it's something what will, will not work. But yes. after I say it, if it doesn't work, we will see. Yes. But that's, that's yeah. Good. So it's been a good decision for you to come oh, to brilliant. Ireland yeah. then. I and think, yeah. do you get home from time to time? Yes. I try to be in Poland twice a year. Good. Uh, this year was a little different because my mom, she came over. Oh, yes. So she stayed with us for the summer. Yes. So... Uh, so she couldn't do longer unfortunately and my dad he missed her so much as well so, yes, <laughs> so they come back to me yes. no that's uh, and is your dad well busy. enough to travel if uh, you wanted he to come uh, yes he does but uh, he is stayed with my brothers there he, they didn't want like uh, oh, my mom she said i will take holidays of you and i'm going to barbara we will see i spent time a little with our grandchild yeah and it was great help that's uh, that is well you know because when you're going to work you have someone you don't you don't worry about that there is time to time and you're thinking the babysitter now and stuff oh moms are brilliant yes i have to say moms I'm well are brilliant. you're a mom now yourself <laughs> and i'm sure you're equally oh, brilliant thank this. you very much i hope so that he so will be it's able been, to say that it's been wonderful talking to you barbara mm -hmm. and um we wish you the very best and you know that yeah. you continue to be happy as you live here in the community and become a macrumpian as i'm sure you will <laughs> and your little boy conrad too Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much for Thank every people in Macron, which I met I, until this time, and I hope that we still be in the good community altogether. Thank you. Thank you.